through the interviewing skills is really through practice. You can practice with a brother or a sister or a relative or a husband, or if you don't have anyone to practice with, you can practice in the mirror. Just get in the mirror, uh, ask yourself certain questions and respond. If you know you're deficient in certain areas, then it's up to you as an individual to improve on, on that. I've heard in different classes and, and just in general that eye contact is very important during the interview. Why is eye contact so important? This uh, eye contact theory goes back to just generally having a conversation with a person. There's an old stereotype that go says that if a person can't look at you when they're talking, that either the person doesn't know what they're talking about or they may not be uh, confident in what they're talking about. And in some cases, people will say a person is not being totally honest if you can't look at a person when you're talking to them. So during the interview, we encourage people to uh, be confident and give eye contact. And when we say eye contact, we don't mean just staring at a person, but just as if you're holding a regular conversation, but you must be able to talk to people and look at them when you're discussing your qualifications. Often during an interview, before it even begins, the interviewer may ask you to tell him something about yourself. What type of response is the interviewer looking for when he asks you this question? Normally, professional interviewers, going back to what I mentioned about them realizing that a person will be nervous, that question, tell me something about yourself at the beginning of the interview, is more like an icebreaker. It's designed to uh, make a person feel at ease because if there is one person or one subject that each of us should be able to talk about, it will be ourselves. They're looking to hear how you communicate and also just to relax you and give you a chance to talk a about a subject that you should talk at ease about. The key to that particular question is to make sure that whatever you do discuss that is something positive and that you don't bring up any negative uh, information or any information that could lead to questions that could eliminate you during the job interview. You can talk about uh, your hobbies, you can talk about maybe where you went to school, or you can even bring up your skills briefly and your educational background. But the key is to try to stay positive and not bring up anything negative that will more or less boomerang at you do later on during the interview. Uh, Ms. Singleton, we are discussing the employment interview and we do have some additional job information later and we will return after this break. Vince, get up. Oh, Safety oh, oh, belt oh. test at nine. Hurry. Not another windshield taste test. Count me out. What? The old pro backing down from a motorhome? Nothing like that. I'm just tired of trying to convince people to wear safety belts. No one's listening. Safety belt saved Barbara Mandrell. You're right. Someone listen. Let's hit the road. You hungry, partner? Ah, let's do some donuts on the way in. Good idea. You could learn a lot from a dummy. Buckle your safety belt. Since 1966, Mobile Community Action has been working towards eliminating the causes of poverty in Mobile and Washington counties. One way in which this is done is through the Energy Program, which offers weatherization assistance programs for low-income households home energy assistance in paying heating and cooling costs for low-income families, and the home repair program. For information on these and other services provided by Mobile Community Action, call 452-4801. Welcome back to Employment Outlook 86. I'm Carnell Davis, Employment and Training Director for Mobile Community Action, along with Ms. Lisa Singleton, my assistant at Community Action, and also my co-host tonight on Employment Outlook 86, and we're discussing the employment interview and the important role it plays in personnel selection. Before we go back to the discussion, we do have some very important job announcements for those of you who are in the job market. The University of South Alabama, located in West Mobile, has several jobs open on their latest position vacancy bulletin dated July 2nd. To apply, you should apply at the